Hey everyone, been a while, I know. So let's not waste any more time, let's get started and kick this thing off. So first thing to get out of the way is yes, GameStop. My GameStop has finally closed down um, for the gathering. It actually didn't happen. Um, amazingly, even though my friend called and verified that they closed at 9 and I called and I talked to them and they verified that they closed at 9 and I set it up so people would get there around that time, they closed at 6. So thanks, even when GameStop is closing, they can still screw me over. Anyway, moving on from that, um, I finally saw, was it Robin Hood, or I guess you could call it the origin of Robin Hood, starring Russell Crowe, which is actually a pretty good film. You just have to remember that this is leading up to the point where he actually becomes Robin Hood, and that's where the film ends. So you're expecting to see Robin Hood and all these other types of stories take place, that's not it. Which is actually a decent film, so I do recommend that you go ahead and check it out. I know there are some people saying that maybe it wasn't as good because it's maybe misleading just from the title itself. But no, I say check it out. I think you really, really like it. Okay, moving on. I thought I'd pick this thing up. It came out back in May. It's X-Men. Why am I showing this to you? Because it's Volume 5. It's the last, or Season 5 if you want to call it that. I don't know why they call it Volume. It's nothing really... Anyway, all the episodes here are part, or make up the entire season 5, and that's it. So I've been checking that one out. Pretty good. Now, there's one problem. See, the way they're drawn is pretty awesome. Yes, I do see Captain America, and I also see Red Skull. But when you look to the back, I'm like, what kind of crappy drawing is that? And now I think back, season 5 really had some crappy animation, so I hope they, they don't look like that. I hope they more, look more like this. Anyway, also moving on, I want to show you guys some of the comic books that I've been picking up and reading. <sighs> Return of Bruce Wayne, long story. Um, those of you who've been reading Blackest Night, well, this is bringing back Bruce Wayne. I supposedly he died somehow. But now he came back, and well, that's the story brings him back. It's only a six-issue series, but so far it seems pretty good. Although some people say the storyline is not that good, so we'll find out. Also, another one, since it was Blackest Night, there's last to be a comic called uh, a comic book called Brightest Day, which is pretty uh, interesting. Again, these are all all connected. Part two, and then there's number three. I don't know how many there are going to be of Brightest Day, but hopefully they'll keep it short. And here's another one, Birds of Prey. It actually got cancelled. They cancelled the series, and then, see this person right here? Simone? Yeah. She is the writer of Birds of Prey. She's the one that made this thing work really well. And then she changed it to someone else, and that's what killed the series. And now she came back, and well, they're relaunching it. Actually, really good. Now, I know that I showed you these kick-ass, no pun intended, kick-ass comic books. There's that one, the ultimate cover number one, and there's this one in black and white. Well, you know me. I had to go ahead and get the actual one. So this is the official number one. And yeah, if you actually do compare it to the other one, you can see what I'm talking about. Let's see. Yeah. Both just about identical. Anyway, there's also going to be a part two to the kick-ass movie that came out. Again, the comic book is a lot better than the movie. Although I did like the movie as well. It wasn't too bad. And just in case you want to see the air cover, this is number two. Gosh, a lot of blood. Number three. Number four. Yeah. See Big Daddy? Doesn't look like Batman, now does he? God. He's better like this than dressing up like Batman. It was number five. Number six. 
Number seven. <laughs> I actually found that kind of funny. And number eight. So yeah, and again, if you wanted to get this off of eBay, it might actually cost you around uh, 80 or $90. Not sure if the price actually went down or not. But yeah, they're still collectibles. But if you can't, then just buy the graphic novel. That's what I would recommend. And the last one, don't know why I skipped this, is called Red Hood, the uh, Lost, Lost Days. That's a pretty good cover. Anyway, it has to do with... with um, Robin, basically, or Nightwing, in a sense. But basically, Red Hood, and it's a long story. Gosh. That's the one problem with comic books is everything's so connected that you can't really tell what happened without referring to another comic book and those and how those went back and branched out and how they had all those miniseries and where those came from. It's a huge, huge huge spider web that's tangled with other spider webs and, and that's the basis of trying to explain how comics are <laughs> all related now that's with dc at least <sighs> yeah it's insane anyway speaking of comic book movies i just mentioned kick-ass um there's this thing called scott pilgrim versus the world another comic book that's going to be turned into a movie if you guys have seen the trailer it looks pretty good i haven't read the comic book Again, I would probably want to <laughs> before watching the movie, although I've had have had bad experiences with that. So I'm still iffy. Um, just a question, if you know that there's a movie coming out and you know that there's a comic book or a book based off of this movie, would you read the book first or watch the movie first and then read the book? What would you guys do? And if you've already done this, are you more disappointed with the choice that you made? Let me know. Because <laughs> so far, I've been pretty disappointed. Yeah. All right, what's else, what else is going on? Um, P90X, I finally finished that. Um, yeah. And just in case you're wondering, yeah, you do lose a lot of weight and you do gain muscle and you do get toned. You really have to stick with it, and you, what you eat does matter, just in case you are wondering. I know it kind of seems like a scam from the uh, infomercials that you always see, but no, it really works. You just have to re really be dedicated and stick to it. So yeah, if you guys are on and you have any questions, feel free to ask me any. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, let's see, one of the last things to mention is E3. All this time I've heard, been hearing about the Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS, coming soon. You know, they're going to show us exactly what it looks like, how the 3D can be turned on and off, the accelerator, or acceler whatever it is, that's supposed to be similar to the what, iPhone in that sense. And now they're talking that maybe high definition, the graphics may be similar to the 360 and PS3 according to IGN. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm anxious to find out. And one of my friends said he might have a ticket for me. Maybe to get me into E3. Just for one day. So hopefully that day's not Thursday or Friday where I can actually go. <laughs> But we'll see. I may not be able to go at all, which means I'll be watching it on the internet trying to catch clips of whatever press conference stuff I can. I'm not really looking into the 360 or PS3, mostly because I don't have it, but the Wii. I want to see what games they're developing this time. Uh, the most uh, rumored thing to be talked about for the Wii so far is the next Zelda game. Now, Zelda is... I don't know, it seems that the quality is always very, very high. And I don't know why, but it seems a little soon to make another Zelda game. That's just me. Uh, sadly, I still have not passed the other one because there's no time! Oh my god. It feels like every time I play a video game on the, the Nintendo Wii, I feel like I'm wasting time. Like I should be doing something better. Seriously, after playing two hours, I'm like, really? It's this late already? I could have done this, 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 and... 
I don't know, maybe that's just the part of uh, growing slightly older. You see how precious time really is, and you see that there are other things to do rather than just play video games. I know, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I'm sure someone's went, what? Some of you probably did. Yeah, I see you guys. So, yeah. My god. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to E3, and... It's, as soon as you guys probably hear, I'll be talking about as well how this Nintendo 3DS, or maybe they'll rename it to, I don't know what they could, but <laughs> whatever this product looks like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be talking about it, commenting on it. Hopefully I'll do it within the same week, because we all know how up-to-date I am. Anyway, um, last thing I want to say is, um, well... I just want to give a nice shout out to my friend Rich, aka Our Evil One. Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. And another shout out to uh, my friend Abby, aka Abby Plays Guitar. Yes, yeah, so you guys should definitely check her out. She's very talented and uh, it's just simply an amazing person. And uh, if you guys want, you know what? I'm just going to put the link right down there so you guys can check her out. Alright, well, I guess that's about it. And last thing to say, Marie 20, my god, you got shot at. That is insane. Wow. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? I'll put the link down there for you guys to check out as well. Because, wow. <laughs> Long story, she can tell it better. I'll see you guys later. Take care.